Don Walker is currently in custody in the United States. More details are coming to light following the discovery of Don Walker and her seven-year-old son. Although the missing person investigation is winding down, the criminal investigation is in its early stages. In Canada, Saskatoon police say Walker is facing a parental abduction charge and public mischief. She also faces charges south of the border, a felony offence related to false statements in the use of a passport identifying another person, and a misdemeanor offence for possession of a stolen or unlawfully produced ID. Walker's sister says very few family and friends have been in contact. There's a very limited number of people that she can speak with and a very limited number of like phone calls or visits that can be made. Walker was found safe and well at a rental unit in Oregon City, Oregon Friday after she and her son had been missing for about two weeks. It was just, I just can't describe like just how yeah, like how wonderful it felt to know that, you know, they were still with us. Police are still investigating factors that led Walker to Oregon City from Chief White Cap Park, where her truck and personal belongings were found. There is no time frame as to when Walker will be returned to Saskatoon, making an appearance in U.S. Court Monday. Our investigators have been advised by the U.S. authorities that they are confident that Don Walker will be further detained in the United States. Court documents obtained by Global News show Walker had a checklist made, including dyeing her hair, covering her tattoo, and throwing her phone into the river. A rally was held in support of Walker Sunday night at Kiwanis Memorial Park. I know my sister is a wonderful person and that if she felt the need to do this, then she had really good reasons for doing that. The boy's father and police have confirmed he's reunited with family. Tanner Chuby. Global News.